Hi, I wanted to uh, tell you about a problem that I've had on Jupiter with these very popular and reputable switches for uh, high current switching, namely from my alternators to the batteries. Um, this one is electric driven or remote operated, so it has some circuitry in it, but the problem's been the same. I've had two manual ones that have failed as well. And what's happening is that they are overheating. This one is rated at 600 amps continuous. I think it's 1,500 uh, intermittent or cranking. And the contact plate gets so hot that it melts the plastic that it's sitting on. And I've had ones that have welded the contact and with this one has just melted the plastic and the plastic's covered the contact so it no longer makes any contact there. Now the reason I can see the shiny part of this contact that uh, is being rubbed in other words the, the part that is making contact with the studs and it's about four or five millimeters of shine. Now I'm only ever using uh, maximum 160 amps going through this uh, for short periods normally less than 100 amps going through this yet it's rated at 600 amps continuous but this is the battery cable that is recommended for around about 200 amps there it's a, a 11 or 12 millimeter it's a 50 millimeter squared cross section yet it's running through this part uh, four or five millimeters. No wonder it gets hot, overheats and melts the switch. These are a 200, at least 200 US dollar switch. The manual ones are a bit cheaper, but very disappointed. I have to try another alternative. Okay, so I'll tell you what I did do. Uh, I took that battery switch out of the circuit. Uh, and I found that I was getting a whole lot more amps out of my alternator due to the resistance in that switch and it would get hotter and more resistant and hotter. Um, I was losing amps out of my alternator to charge my battery. So have a look. All I've done so far as a temporary measure is just bolt my cables together. Now I cannot easily disconnect them, but the uh, increase in the current going into my batteries is almost double due to being no resistance this does not get hot that other switch was getting hot and blocking all the current so tech tip for the day if you have battery switches like this in between your alternator and your battery when you're charging have a feel of the switch see if it's getting warm or maybe even getting hot like mine was and that means there's high resistance in there. I suggest you undo the battery cables and put a bolt in there just temporarily. Tighten it up tight, make sure the lugs are clean and then see what sort of amperage you're getting into your batteries. Along the same line, check all your connections. You can feel them, see if they're getting warm. And obviously I'm only talking about 12 volt systems here or DC systems, not AC of course. Make sure your battery lugs are shiny. Get some 320 grit paper and give them a rub. Clean them up nicely. It makes all the difference. Remember, knowledge keeps you cruising.